Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's code on the menu is P031. Oxygen. And F sensor heater control circuit low bank 1 sensor 1. This means your car's computer is detecting a problem with the heating element in the oxygen sensor. Don't worry, it's a fairly common fix. In this video, we'll go through some steps to diagnose and potentially solve it. T031 code ourselves. Before we dive in, a quick disclaimer. While some of these fixes can be done at home, car, repair can be tricky. If you're not comfortable with any step, it's always best to consult a certified mechanic. The P0031 code refers to the oxygen sensor in bank one, sensor one. Bank one is the side of the engine with cylinder number one, and sensor one is the one closest to the engine block upstream of the catalytic converter. This sensor plays a crucial role in optimizing engine performance and fuel economy. It heats up quickly using a built-in heater, allowing it to reach operating temperature faster and send accurate signals to the engine control unit ECU about the air-fuel mixture. Faulty oxygen sensor. Over time, the oxygen sensor's heater element can wear out. Wiring issues damage or corroded wiring can disrupt the signal between the sensor and the AQ. Tools you'll need. OBD to scanner to check and clear codes. Multimeter for electrical testing. Socket wrench set to remove the oxygen sensor. Replacement oxygen sensor. Consult your car's manual for the right part. Optional. Repair manual for your specific vehicle. First, use your OBD to scanner to confirm the P031 code. Visual inspection. Pop the hood and locate the oxygen sensor usually screwed into the exhaust manifold. Look for any visible signs of damage on the wiring or connector. Replacing the oxygen sensor. If the visual inspection or electrical tests reveal an issue, it's time to replace the oxygen sensor. Make sure to buy the right sensor for your car model. Replacing the sensor usually involves using a socket wrench to remove the old one end screwing in the new one. Tighten it to the recommended torque specifications, refer to your car's manual. Once you've replaced the faulty part or fixed the wiring, clear the P031 code using your OBD2. Scanner. Start your car and let it run for a few minutes. Then, take it for a short drive to see if the code comes back. If the code stays clear, you've successfully fixed the problem. If you're not comfortable with any of these steps, remember, there's no shame in taking your car to a trusted mechanic. They have the expertise and tools to diagnose and fix the P031 code efficiently. But for the DIY enthusiasts out there, hopefully, this video equips you with the knowledge to tackle this common car problem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more car care tips.